My name is Eric Stewart with Lincoln Electric. I'm here in Las Vegas at the Fabtech Show demonstrating the S350 with the STT and the 25M feeder. Uh, we're demonstrating on 18 inch Schedule 40 pipe and what I want to show you today is how to maintain a proper gap to ensure that we don't have lack of fusion when we're putting our root pass in using the STT process. One of the most common concerns with welding pipe using uh, a process like STT or any other wire process is that uh, lack of fusion does occur if you don't take the necessary steps to ensure that you have the proper gap. Also the uh, area you want to focus on is our tacks. Our tacks are put in place to maintain a certain gap. We have to grind those tacks to ensure that when we tie into them we have proper fusion and we also need to make sure that we have the proper gap set. There's several tools that can be used. You can use spacer gauges, some people will use TIG filler. Uh, for what I'm demonstrating using 045 wire with 100% CO2, I want to maintain a 330 seconds gap which is about 90 thou. So I'll use this gauge right here to determine whether I have the proper gap or not. If the gap is too tight, I run the risk of having lack of fusion. The grinding wheel I use will be a 90 thousandths wheel and I will pass that through the joint to make sure that I have the proper gap along with grinding the, the tack to ensure that I have a proper um, ramp, if you will, so that when I tie into it I have 100% pen on the back side. So here we have the proper gap of 90 thou and here in the side we have a little bit of a tight gap so we're going to pass the grinding wheel through it to maintain our 90 thousandths gap which is what we want to ensure that we don't have uh, issues with lack of fusion. Okay. So first off I'm going to go ahead and run the grinding wheel through it like this to open the gap up to maintain or to uh, open it up to a 90 thousandths gap then I'll go ahead and grind the tack also. It may be necessary after you run the grinding wheel through there to um, soften the bevel a little bit because you created a larger land. We typically want a 1 16th land and by passing the wheel through it, you end up putting a heavier land on it um, in order to open up the bevel. So running a large and grinding wheel over top of this to soften the bevel may be necessary. I'll use a slight side-to-side -side mo movement coming off of the top of the tack just to ensure I tie it in properly. I used four tacks on this to maintain the gap and I did have to cut some of it open or open it up with the grinding wheel. Uh, to ensure that I had the proper gap. It may also be necessary to use a spacing tool to hold the gap while welding. Well, that's about it. Thanks for stopping by the show here to see us. And if you need more information, stop by and see us at lincolnelectric.com.